Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this is kind of spur of the moment, not really much thought um, or planning went into this, but I'm just going to go with it. And where I kind of want to start um, is with a story. So my cousins are getting their house redone, like completely like top to bottom, kitchen, floors, bedrooms, basement, you name it, it's happening and it's awesome. Um, but I kind of want to relay their house renovation to our lives. And what I mean by that um, is with a house renovation, I think it's kind of easy to trust the process of what's happening. Um, and I think that's because we know the finished product. Um, with a house renovation, you know, you beat down the walls and you demolish everything just to build it back up and make it beautiful. And I think Jesus is doing the same thing with our hearts. You know, like an old house, there's bruises and scars and marks of wear and tear over the years. Um, and at a certain point, um, we take all those broken pieces and we fix it up and we paint it um, and we, we redo it and make it something new. Um, and with Jesus, I feel like our hearts are kind of the same way. Um, through life, we get these bumps and bruises and scars and marks. And I think Jesus wants us um, to give it to Him, you know? And I think it's in that brokenness um, that Jesus meets us there. And relating that back to the house, how I said it's easy to trust the process because we know the finished product. I think with our life and with our hearts, um, we have to be able to trust that what Jesus is doing in our brokenness is going to lead to good. Jesus is working in our brokenness to bring Him glory. And I think the cool part about that um, is that I think we do have to have trials and tribulations and hard times to, to test our faith, to make our faith stronger in who He is and ultimately bring glory out of it. And I kind of wanted to read a passage that kind of talked about that. And I'm going to be reading James chapter 1. And here's what James chapter 1 says. Verse 2 says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Wow, I love that. It says not only when troubles come our way, we're not just going to be tested and made stronger, but we're going to count it as joy. Pure joy that when um, troubles come at us and when things don't go our way, it's in those moments that we're becoming better people, we're becoming stronger people, and ultimately using that bad and turning it into something good and seeing the good out of it. And another verse in James chapter 1 that I love um, is James 1.12. And James 1.12 says, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love Him. I'm going to read that one more time. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. I can hands down say that that is not easy, um, and I struggle with that daily. I can tell you that it's so hard for me to wait patiently. When things um, go downhill, when things don't go my way, I'm so quick um, to try to justify why, and I'm so quick to try to reason. I'm like, God, why? I don't understand. Um, and I think what the Lord is saying here is that we just have to be still. We have to be still and know that He is working behind the scenes. He's working when we don't expect it. He's working um, all things together for our good because He knows the desires of our hearts. And man, I love that. I love that. Um, and I kind of just wanted to come on here um, and kind of share that. And I think the main message was that the same way that the Lord takes the brokenness of a house and makes it new, I think Jesus is doing the same thing um, with the hardness of our hearts. I think He's working in our brokenness when it doesn't make sense, and He's turning brokenness to beauty. And I just pray that this week we trust that, and we know that, and we hold on to it. I pray that the truth of Jesus and the truth of what um, He's done for us isn't just known in our hearts, but we live that out. And we take the fact that He loves us so much, and we turn that into a joy that just flows into someone else this week. Um, and I'm so pumped about that and I hope 
Um, this video says something to you. I don't really know. Kind of spur of the moment, like I said. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know um, that Jesus is so good. And he's working um, in your heart when you don't expect it. And he's working um, when it doesn't make sense. And he's turning your brokenness to beauty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is definitely kind of different, uh, kind of fast, kind of mumbly, rambly, um, but what can I say? Um, I hope you guys have a super blessed week, and I hope you know how much you mean to Jesus and how much he wants um, to know you and pursue you. And I just pray um, that you guys know how awesome and how loved you truly are.